Well, it seems like every time we play a Butler here over the last five to six years, um, you know, they're just gritty games. And um, you know, we didn't get off to a really good start either the first or second half, but I thought you know, our team responded uh, with the resiliency that you know, at times maybe we haven't had, but certainly we've had over the last month of the season. And um, you know, I told these guys that uh, you know, everybody's been talking about the Butler-Georgetown matchup in the semifinals, and um, you know, I was a little disrespectful because they, they have to play you know, us first. And then, then you can deal with the semifinal matchup. But, uh, you know, our guys are competitors. Um, you know, we felt like if, if we played at our best uh, that, uh, that we would advance. And it's exactly what we did. These guys played really tough. We got a quick turnaround, played one of the best teams in the country in Georgetown. And uh, it'll be a challenge. Questions, please. Shannon. Coach, with about two and a half minutes left, Trayvon made that three-pointer that tied up the game. What was the difference for you guys from that point and into overtime on Honestly, you know, there's so many big plays uh, on both ends of the floor for both teams that it's, it's hard to pinpoint, you know, one. But that, that one certainly uh, gave our team a lot of confidence because we, we just kept, you know, chipping away, chipping away, but we could never, you know, tie it up. We were always down one, down two. And, um, you know, at that point, we felt like it was a new game, obviously. And, and you know, from there, you know, like I said before, players made some big-time plays, uh, both at the end of regulation and in overtime. In the middle, John. Chris, Jalen's playing with foul trouble. He has stayed so aggressive in overtime. What do you make of just the way that he finished up this game for him? Uh, he played the way uh, we know he's capable of. You know, Jalen's one of the uh, toughest matchups in the conference. When he's playing with a lot of confidence, he's strong. He's very confident in himself. He's an excellent finisher. And I thought our guards did a tremendous job of, of feeding both Matt and Jalen down the stretch in the post where I thought we had an advantage. In the back. Chris, what was the advantage of starting JT back pass? Uh, not necessarily an advantage, but uh, you know, we just that's who we started. Sorry for the vague answer, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions? Anything for Matt or for Dee? Shannon? Oh, uh, Matt, can you just talk about, you know, coming into this rubber match game, you, you know them very, very well. So how, did they throw anything different at you tonight that was, you didn't see in the first two games? Um, not necessarily. Uh, we, we tried to maybe change up our defense a little bit. Uh, I think we had me on Cam Woods a little bit more and uh, sort of put Trey and other guys on uh, Shabraz. But other than that, I mean, we, we scouted them pretty well. We knew their stuff down. Um, you know, they played really tough. And we just want to make sure that we didn't get punked or get, get out toughed. So. Over here on the left, Clay. Yeah, those, those matchups have nothing to do with tomorrow night. Um, you know, I, I see an excellent team. I see a team that is very athletic, you know, really big around the basket, a little different than Butler in the sense that they, they've got great size in the front court. They, they match our size extremely well. They have a potent score, uh, one of the best in the conference, and Devontae Smith-Rivera, who we know very well. They're freshmen, um, have become sophomores. And Coach Thompson does an incredible job of, uh, with their style of play. They make you guard for you know the entire shot clock, and and, uh, and we're going to be have, have to be at our best and to to win tomorrow night. Shannon, D, can you walk me through that sequence at the start overtime where you made that a layup and then were fouled, uh, were fouled, and then how big was that for you guys heading into this overtime period? Um, well, I'm, I think we were taking the ball out, and um, you know, Coach Steele he told me that we had 11 seconds left, and. We need to get a shot up. So when I couldn't get the ball to Matt in the post, I just took advantage of the matchup I had with Kellen Dunham and, and went to the cup. I mean, I was trying to make a play for my team, and I think it gave us a lot of energy. Over here on the left, Tom. For both players, talk about your ability to come back. You fell behind early, got the lead at halftime, fell behind the middle of the early in the second half again and bounced back. I think our team's just really resilient. You know, we we didn't get too high with the highs and low with the lows. and. You know, you know they're going to make their runs. We're going to make our runs, and I think our team did a good job. Of, you know, every sort of media timeout, sitting down, saying, "Hey, you know, we're still in this one. We got to keep fighting. We got to keep pushing. Um, you know, nothing's going to take us out except for ourselves." So, um, I think our team was just really resilient. In the back, Matt, the end of regulation there it looked like you were pretty vocal in the in the huddle. Were you asking for a certain play to be called, or what, what was the plan there when you got the ball? 
Well, I, I got denied the play. But this, guy, <laughs> this guy's drawing up plays on the clipboard. Play. Yeah. I got a go-to play that um, we didn't go to. Just, do, oh, just wait though. When it, when, when we need it and when it happens, I'm taking credit for it. That's all I know. So. You know, honestly, that last play, D made a really good read and threw it to Matt. And you know, hindsight 2020, I should have flipped uh, Alex Barlow's man to the other side of the floor because that that dude gets his hands on every basketball. He, he has the best. Uh, set of hands in, in the country, uh, it seems like, and, and did a really good job of being able to rake the ball and get a jump ball. But, uh, you know, these guys did a great job being resilient, like Matt said, in overtime. Final question, Shannon. Uh, Chris Roosevelt Jones uh, scored fewer points than in any other game. Do you guys do anything on him differently? Uh, I think our guys paid great attention to detail. You know, Rosie's always trying to turn the corner. Um, he circles up on penetration. And if you lose vision on him, now he has an angle to the basket. You know, again, our team presents – uh, maybe size that he doesn't necessarily see in practice. Uh, we just wanted him to score over, whether it was his matchup or the size inside. And um, I, I thought we did that flawlessly tonight. And that was one of the reasons he didn't necessarily hurt us with his point total. Xavier, thank you. Thank Thanks. you.